Hey guys, it's Duncan Clark here. Welcome to another Path to Paint Free Group Challenge. Today's challenge is aptly named Where Attention Goes, Sensation Grows. And what I mean by that is the more in which we fixate on our symptoms, the more we apply attention to them, uh, the greater the, the feeling, the pain amplifies. And so we fixate um, on our symptoms in two distinct ways. Typically this is physically by uh, rubbing or holding or stroking the area that, that hurts and the other is emotionally or mentally. We fixate by googling our problem, our symptoms, looking for solutions and answers and other people maybe that have had the same problem. Uh, we do this of course with the best of intentions. We want to look for answers and, and, and get better. Um, but actually, that, of course, it's working to our detriment. The other way is through speaking to friends or family or anyone who's willing to listen to us. We might speak excessively about our problem. Um, we'll also ruminate and, and internally worry and uh, problem solve. And so we'll consume a lot of our headspace a lot of the time, often from the moment we wake up in the morning until, until we go to bed. Um, so these are the two distinct ways in which we focus on uh, and draw attention to our symptoms, the way we fixate on them. And the reason this is a problem is because we create a, a, learnt, a learnt association between, in, in the case of physical touch, uh, touching the body part, holding it, protecting it. And uh, what we're telling our brain ultimately is that we're in danger that we're not safe and that we need protected. The brain protects us by generating ever greater pain signals. And we try to keep ourselves safe by massaging, protecting, rubbing the area more, or by Googling more, speaking about our problem more, and trying to problem solve. Again, we have best of intentions when we massage an area and when we bring attention to the site of pain in this way, we're doing the same thing we would for an acute injury. When we have an acute injury, we might massage the area and, and rub it. And this isn't a bad thing. We're actually going to increase blood flow and oxygen to the area, and this can stimulate a tissue growth. However, for neuroplastic pain, for TMS, uh, this is this is not the case. It's, it's working to our detriment. Uh, there there may never have been a physical problem, and even if there were a physical problem, a, a damage to the area or a break. It has long since healed, especially if we're past sort of uh, two, three or four months. And so what we want to do is actually draw, our, learn to draw our attention away from, uh, fr from the pain. Each and every time we're tempted to, to rub or hold the, the site of, of, of pain or to ruminate or upon it or to Google sensations or talk about it. We, we want to refrain from this and uh, we, we want to learn to re our attention towards something else. This is helping to break the cycle because in uh, neuroscience is an expression and that neurons that fire together wire together. Now I'm not a neuroscientist but you only need to understand the basics to understand how chronic pain develops and how it's maintained. And when you have the learnt association between touch and the pain that's influencing that touch, each and every single time we do that, we strengthen the neural pathways and they then begin to fire with uh, greater and greater degrees of proficiency over time. Uh, the same can be said when we Google our symptoms or when we talk about our symptoms. Again, it's an association each and every time we think about them, it creates a, a fear response in us. Even if we don't realize we're in fear, there is a danger signal being fired. And, and naturally we have the, the amplified pain response as a result of that. So in order to break this cycle, and unlearn these symptoms. Remember, the, our symptoms were learnt in the first place, albeit unconsciously learned. We never intended or wanted to have pain. But at an unconscious level, we have uh, um, generated these symptoms for good reason, uh, to protect ourselves. However, 
we don't need that anymore, we don't need that protective mechanism anymore. And so we want to unlearn these symptoms by diverting our attention away from, the, from our pain. And we're going to do this in two ways. So whenever you want to massage or rub uh, an, an area or hold an area uh, because it feels vulnerable, you're going to learn to just let go of that. Maybe, you know, your, your hand goes in, okay, cool, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to uh, do something else. I'm going to reapply my attention onto something else. If you're an artist, maybe pra pra practice some, some drawing or if you're into gaming, do some gaming. If you're at work, reapply yourself to whatever it is you're doing. Um, if those things aren't enough, uh, maybe you need to get up and walk around. If you're in too much pain that you can't walk, um, then perhaps you could call a friend or speak to somebody. Really, you're just looking to do anything and everything that you can that isn't focusing on the pain. And when it comes to the rumination, this type of fixation, the, the emotional and mental attention that we, we put on our symptoms, we're going to refrain from Google searching. We're going to stop making it the center of conversations with people. Uh, we'll do our best to end the rumination in, inside our head by perhaps picking up a new hobby, learning about new things. Give your mind something else to chew on and as you can, as you do this and as you apply yourself to it, the easier it becomes because this is very much, this has become habitual, this obsession and application to symptoms has become habitual, whether it's the physical application or the, or the, the mental the mind chatter and the researching. So. That's your challenge for the week, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. For now, take care. Bye-bye.